Arsenal will finish top four this season and qualify for the Champions League. They're five points ahead of City after 17 games, but can they hold on and win the title? I think not. So what you're really saying is they won't come first. They will come top four, Theo. Yeah. They've got five really tough games coming up. They don't have the strength of squad depth. Here's what I think they'll do in 2023. They're going to sign two or three world-class players, and that could include Mihalo Mudrik. Will they win the Premier League this season? No, they will be silver medalists but next year they will be frontliners with their new additions ready to go for the Premier League. Aston Villa will achieve a top 10 finish this year Theo. They are 11th at the moment. Good on their day. Dire on another day. They don't have a proven goal scorer and defensively they're a little bit leaky. Again I agree. A top 10 finish for Aston Villa and I think they'll start 23-24 season looking as if they're going to go for a European spot. And under Unai Emery, I think they'll start the 23-24 season heading in the direction of European football. Bournemouth will achieve nothing in 2023 no. because no. they will be relegated. Theo, yeah. they are Fuck. 16th at the moment. Conceded 39 goals. Nobody's conceded more goals. And if you look at the table below them, there is Wolves, Everton, West Ham. I'm sorry, you're not a mug. Bournemouth, by the end of the year, you will be an EFL championship club. However, I think Gary O'Neill will stay and you You'll retain a lot of your good players and I think you might jump back up the next season. You'll have a good first half of 2023 in the Championship. Brentford will achieve a top half finish in the Premier League, Theo. They are yes. ninth at the moment. Their recent form has been absolutely superb. Can they keep it up? To some extent, yes. Can they keep Thomas Frank? Because I also agree they're going to get a top 10 finish. I believe they'll keep Thomas Frank by the end of the year. What about you? Well, if they don't fear, the great thing about Brentford, they've got a wonderful structure. They are brilliant in the transfer market. Occasionally, they'll lose a manager, they'll sell a player, but they'll find other managers, other players. Ivan Tony in 2023, keep or lose? I hope he gets through his personal problems. I hope they keep him because he's a wonderful striker. If he's allowed to play football, he'll move to a bigger club. Manchester United, Chelsea, Liverpool, they're all looking for somebody like him. I cannot see him staying if he keeps playing football. Brighton will achieve a top half league finish in 2023, Theo. They've got the youngest squad in the league. That might surprise some people. They've survived the loss of Graham Potter. They're very well drilled. Top 10 for me. And I believe Brighton will finish in a UEFA Conference League spot <gasps> this year in the Premier League. Everything with that club is heading in the right direction from the manager to the upstairs. They understand the right players to sign. They get the tactics right. They're beating big clubs and they will be playing European football. Enjoy it, Brighton fans. Chelsea will qualify for the Conference League oh. in 2023. They will. They'll come seventh field. You know why? Despite all their problems scoring goals, they've got the fourth best defence in the league and they've got the resources to buy a goal scorer. I don't see Potter finishing within the top seven this season. Season, and I believe Potter will stay in 2023. You agree? No, I don't agree. What? Theo. So no, I don't. Five Conference League and sack the manager because top seven. <laughs> it's not good enough for Chelsea. You know that. I believe Chelsea will not get any trophies or any sort of qualification this year. They will wow. not be playing European football. They will keep Potter and they'll have a proper pre-season and prepare for what will be a great Premier League run next year. Crystal Palace will achieve a mid-table finish in 2023. Ooh. What I mean by that, Theo, between 11th and 13th. Now, Crystal Palace on their day are very good, but on an off day, really poor. Yes. And the problem is, despite having the likes of Eze, Zaha, Elise, they've only scored 17 goals this season. That's the problem. I believe no trophies and a mid-table finish for Palace. And I think they're going to lose Wilfred Zaha this year, especially yeah. with his contract coming to the end. Do you agree? I think they might, Theo. He's been very loyal to the club, but I'd actually like to see him take a step up. No disrespect to Crystal Palace. Everton will achieve survival in 2023. Really? They will <laughs> stay in the Premier League. I'm not sure how, Theo, because their home form is not good enough. But I'll tell you what, they're not terrible defensively. They've conceded less goals than Tottenham Hotspur. I've used my crystal ball, and here's what I think Everton are going to achieve in 2023. There's going to be final day scenes. But on that final day, Sean Dyche is going to be the manager. No more Frank Lampard. And I don't think by the end of 2023, Anthony Gordon is going to be an Everton player. Fulham will achieve a mid-table finish in 2023. I might disappoint a few people, Theo. 11th to 13th. Now, Mitrovic, as we know, is on fire. But what if the goals dry up for 3-4? four or five games. Fulham are a little bit defensively suspect. They concede two or three goals 
too often. I think a top 10 finish, but no European football. They're currently in a Conference League spot. I don't think they'll get that. In 2023, keep or lose Alexander Mitrovic. I'm going to say keep. I think he's comfortable in London and living there. He's a wonderful striker. He loves living there. And you know what, Fulham? Well done for swerving relegation. A lot of people thought they'd be in the bottom five now. Leeds United will achieve survival in 2023. It's going to be a relegation dogfight right to the end. But you oh. know what, Theo? The Elland Road effect. Won three, drawn three, lost three. They're going to win another four games at home, maybe two games away, okay. and just survive. I don't know if they're going to survive. I've written it down that they will. I know how good that atmosphere is, but I know how toxic it can turn if results don't fall their way. Jesse Marsh is still going to be a Leeds United manager at the end of 2023. I think there's a project there. A lot of the signings make sense, and they usually have a connection where he used to manage at Salzburg, and he previously played with them. So he understands the players that he's signing. I just think Leeds are heading in the right direction. It's just not converting into results and points for the Premier League table yet. Here's what I've got on my crystal ball. In the summer, they will find someone who will just score goals like crazy. So someone's going to get 20 a year like Bakayoko. Leicester City will achieve a mid-table finish in 2023. Something yeah. like 11th to 13th. No now, relegation. This season, no relegation there. I think they'll pull away from the relegation zone. 11 defeats already is shocking. They've had a couple of injuries, I know can only get better for me. I agree. I've gone second half of the table, but no relegation. The problem is, over 2023, I also believe they're going to lose Brendan Rodgers. I don't see them holding on to Tielemans. And I sense a lot of change. James Madison, will he keep or lose for Leicester in 2023? I think he'll go, Theo. I think the likes of Newcastle will sign him for a lot of money. And I hope Leicester take that money and reinvest. Liverpool will achieve Europa League qualification Ooh. in 2023. Is that an achievement? I'm not sure. Now, we know they've got problems with their mid field this season. They're missing, obviously, the likes of Mane. How can you replace him? A couple of injuries, Luis Diaz, Jota, they miss him, but they could be back in February. So I think they'll pick up a little bit. Fifth or sixth. Liverpool will achieve no trophies in 2023. The one positive I do see happening in the next 365 days is new owners. Mm. I can see FSG leaving, being replaced by either a Dubai or Middle Eastern consortium, a proper injection of cash which will then lead to the signing in the summer of Jude Bellingham. So there are some positives, but no trophies this year. I think there's an awful lot needs to be done. They need a complete new midfield theory. I know Harvey Elliott, decent player, but very young. Yeah. So they need to invest two or three hundred million in some key areas. They need youth and they need more energy. Will Jurgen Klopp be the manager of Liverpool by the end of 2023? Yes, Theo. He's Why? not going anywhere. Why would you leave, Theo? Manchester City will win the Premier League. Manchester City will win the League Cup. Manchester City in the Champions League we'll get to the last four. And you know why I'm saying that? Because it's the curse of Thog that I said they'd win it for the last two seasons. Yes, I'm not is. saying it again, Theo. They're going to win the Premier League. They're going to win the Champions League, but they're not going to win any of the Cups. So those are the two trophies and it's the two main ones. But the League Cup, Theo, that is their Cup. They won it six of the last nine years. You'll wait to find out who wins the League Cup. You'll see. As Pep stated, they're going to have to be almost perfect to win the Premier League. And that five-point gap is going to soon be reduced. And it's because of the bench. When you look at the bench of Arsenal, it doesn't compare to Man City, does it? Do you know what, Theo? I think that five-point gap will be gone in six to eight weeks. Yeah. I really do, because Arsenal are going to start drawing some games, and City at some point are just going to keep smashing it. Yeah, and the reason I believe Man City can also win the Champions League is because they now have Erling Haaland, yeah. who is the best striker goal for goal in the world. I also see Erling Haaland winning the Golden Boot, obviously. So they're going to win a lot of trophies this year if it all goes to plan. And it's about more than Haaland because the strength and depth of that team is incredible. You look at the bench of Arsenal and it's not that great. Yeah. Manchester United will achieve Champions League qualification. They will win the FA Cup. They will get to the final of the League Cup and lose to City. They're going to lose to City? Yeah, I know. Of course, they might draw each other in the semi-final or whatever, but... I think United from now on, yeah. they've got rid of Cristiano. That chapter is behind them. They're starting to win. Rashford looks amazing. They're spending money, aren't they, Theo? Bringing yeah. in the likes of Wout Weghorst, which I think is a good move. And they've got Academy Boys breaking onto the yes. scene. Viva Garnacho. So Manchester United, for me, will achieve a top four finish and the League Cup. Very big shout here, because yeah. like I said earlier, that is Man City's Cup. They always win that. They're going to be stopped. Newcastle United will achieve Europa League qualification okay. in 2023, Theo. Now, they've been superb defensively, only conceded 11 goals in the league. That is better than anyone else. But what worries me, 1-9, drawn 8. Yeah. And they need a flair player. They need a likes of a James Madison to, to turn some of those draws so, Dan, into wins. Will Madison be a Newcastle player in 2023? Yes. There you go. Newcastle United are going to achieve a Champions League spot. Ooh. 
in 2023. Yeah, I think they have enough to hold it out. Right now, the best defense in the Premier League. Yes. And if they do get a goal scorer in the summer, they'll actually look like they can push on in the Champions League. And I think they'll make two to three world-class signings in the summer. We could list so many things that Newcastle could do because they're looking like everything is going in the right direction more than ever. Nottingham Forest will achieve relegation in no. 2023. And I hate to say this because eight points in the last five games, it's looking positive at the moment. But defensively, they've got the second worst defense. That's 34 goals conceded. And look at the other side there. They've only scored 13 goals. So I know <laughs> they're good at the moment, but I think they'll fall away. I'm sorry about that. For me, as I said with Everton, I'm not going to state whether they stay up or go down. I'm just going to mention late scenes. That's what my crystal ball is telling me. Steve Cooper will still be the manager of Forest, whatever happens at the end of 2023. And they aren't going to make many transfers. They're going to work on what they have at the moment. Yeah. And they're going to build. They don't need new additions. And I don't think they're going to invest in too many more. Southampton will achieve nothing in 2023. Ooh. They will be relegated. They will no. be 20th. Theo, they've conceded 33 goals this season. They've won once on their home turf. It yeah. looks terrible. There's problems behind the scenes. Lack of investment. The fans aren't happy. Hazen Huttle clearly wasn't the problem from the way Nathan Jones is performing with the team. So I completely agree. I think they're going to be an EFL Championship club. Great signing in Orsic. Will he change everything on his own two feet? I don't know. I think they're also going to lose Ward Prowse. It's more than a one-man job, Theo. This is so much wrong at Southampton. And Hassan Hurtle, like you say, he was a good manager, Theo. They're going to lose Ward Prowse if they get relegated. Not just a Premier League player. He's probably one of the best set-piece takers in the world. He could fit the tactics of one of the top six clubs and just smash it. Tottenham Hotspur will achieve Champions League qualification in 2023, Theo. And the dip in form recently has been a little bit spectacular, but I'll tell you why it's happened. They're missing Kulisevsky. They're missing Ben Tancor. Ooh. They're missing Richarlison. And when those guys come back, they'll start smashing it. Top four for Tottenham. Hear me out. They're not going to finish in the top four. <gasps> but Tottenham are going to win the FA Cup in 2023. What, what, wait a minute, wait yes. a minute. Uh, Jeremy Beadle. Yeah. Jeremy Beadle's He's about... Broken. Tottenham don't win They're trophies They're going to win the FA Cup, Tottenham trust me. Tottenham do not win trophies They've there. got Preston in the fourth Josh, round. Josh, cut this out. West Ham United. Beat He's them. saying Tottenham are going to win a trophy. And I'll tell you one more thing. Antonio Conte is going to stay throughout it. Harry Kane's going to stay throughout it. They're going to finally win a trophy and kick on. The football club are going to head in the right direction. You just wait. West Ham United will achieve survival in 2023. It's no. looking horrible at the moment there. But I just took a quick look at their squad and there's names like Skamaka, Bowen, Benrama, Paqueta, Rice, Suchek. How can you have players like that and consider getting relegated? They will survive somehow. I wonder out of all the list of players you just mentioned, how many will be a West Ham player by the end of this calendar year? It depends if they stay up there. This is a team who should be pushing for Europe like they used to. So my next question is, Moyes, at the end of the year, yeah. keep or lose for West Ham? Over the years, Theo, he's been a good manager. He was at Everton and he was at West Ham for a very long time. I'm not in the job of getting rid of managers, Theo. He's not a bad manager. I know you've been critical recently. I keep him. I'm going to lose. That's my prediction as to what West Ham will do. However, they're going to keep to the Premier League. They will survive the drop. But I do not see Declan Rice being a West Ham player by the end of the year. Can't, can't see them surviving the summer without taking a big paycheck for that man. Wolverhampton Wanderers will achieve survival in 2023. And I have no idea why I'm saying this. <laughs> I think Podence, hopefully he'll come back from injury at some point. He's a big miss. Yeah. But Wolves, surely too good to go down. They'll just survive. I think Wolves will get to a semi-final of the League Cup, which Ooh, yes. I think they have to beat Forest. That's not too bad. They will stay in the Premier League and they're currently in a relegation spot. So that makes life a little bit better. And I think it's going to come down to Lopetegui. He will save them. He's coming with his positive energy. He's got some great results. Drawing against Villa wasn't easy against Emery as well with it. That game being a bit of a derby. Things will look up, but they're going to lose Raul Jimenez. We've now given all 20 clubs of what they're going to achieve. But how many likes are we going to achieve on this video is the question. Oh, 12,000. Come I on. I want more. Make it 12,001. Comment below if we got your club wrong. How wrong have we got this properly, Dad? Probably hugely <laughs> wrong, yes. It's just our predictions. We'll look back at the end of the year. Have a laugh about it. See you all in a bit. Bye-bye.